What's up guys this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have a quick look on benchmarking test score results of the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE running on Exynos 2200 processor to give you an idea that how good the performance of the device is going to be. But before we start if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So these are the applications we got today here on our Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. We have already performed all of this test and we will just have a quick look on the test score results. So first of all, let's start with Android to benchmark. So the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE scored 1.261323 million points in Antutu benchmark and this is quite impressive especially considering the Exynos 2200 processor we got on this device. If we go to the individual test score results here you can see the CPU, GPU memory and UX scores of the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE and here you can see that it is outperforming 91% of the smartphones. Let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the Geekbench 6. So in the CPU test, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE has scored 1620 in single core and 4036 in multi core. So once again, this is a pretty solid score, especially if you compare the test score results with the more powerful and high end Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra running on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. If you go to the multi core, the same goes with the multi core as well, and the score of our Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is very close to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 performance. So once again in both single core and multi core, the performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 FE running on Exynos 2200 is quite impressive. If you go to the GPU test, it is scored 8629. Once again it's pretty solid and here you can compare the score with other devices and once again you can see how close it is with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and S23 Plus running on the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and it is better than Samsung Galaxy S23 Xiaomi 13 both running on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 so this is really impressive for sure. Let's go back from here. Now let's have a look on 3D Mark. So as you can see in Slingshot Extreme the performance was so good that it maxed out. Then we got the Wildlife, Wildlife Extreme and the Solar Bay. So in Wildlife, it has scored 8594 and it was able to achieve more than 51 FPS. And as you can see, it was better than the 92% of the smartphones. So once again, it sounds quite impressive. For Wildlife Extreme, it achieved 2292 and the FPS we got is 13.7. If we compare it with other devices, performance was better than 53% of the devices. And if we go to the Solar Bay, it has scored 4595 and here you can have a look on the FPS. So the average FPS was 17.47 and the performance was better than only 37% of the devices. But considering the fact that the Solar Bay and the Wildlife Extreme are pretty intensive GPU benchmarking test so the performance of the device is still pretty solid considering the older chipset and GPU we got on this device. Now if you go back from here to the GFX bench so here you can see all of the test score results that our device got in these various GPU benchmarking tests on GFX Bench. And once again, the performance is looking quite nice and similar to the 3D Mark. As you can see, it is getting 53, 54 FPS in some tests. And when it comes to 4K resolution test, the average we are getting is around 16 FPS. If you compare the test score result with other devices, here you can see our device scored 3386. That is pretty solid compared to other devices but these devices are pretty old but still if you got any of them you can get the idea that how much difference you are going to get in terms of performance for example galaxy a set got 440 only and our device got 3386 so once again the performance of the samsung galaxy s23 fe is looking quite promising when it comes to benchmarking test and let's have a look on the last test for today and that's pc mark and in this the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE scored 13,328. That is once again quite impressive. If you go to the best devices list here, you can compare the test score result. So you can see that the ZT Nubia Z50S Pro is getting in 18,000 range. Our device got in 13,000 range. If we go down here, you can compare the score with the 13,000 segment. So it is as good as the 
Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So once again, it is quite impressive for sure because usually the Snapdragon version is getting better benchmarking test score result, but this time the Exynos 2200 is scoring very nice points in the benchmarking test score results. So it is clearly evident that the performance of Exynos 2200 is improved a lot since it was launched last year in the S22 series devices. So I believe this time if you are planning to buy Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, so it's better to go with the Exynos version instead of the Snapdragon version as the benchmarking test score results are way better compared to the Snapdragon version of the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.